I was looking for ways to generate images with consistent characters and honestly most tools failed me. ChatGPT, Dolly, you name it, they just couldn't keep the character consistent. But then Google dropped Gemini 2.5 flash image, also known as Nano Banana. Yep, you heard that right. Now, nothing fruity here. The name came from anonymous testing on LM Arena, a crowdsourced benchmarking site. Google secretly submitted the model and testers noticed banana showing up in the top results, so they started calling it Nano Banana. The nickname went viral and when Google officially launched Gemini 2.5 flash image, the name had already stuck. Even Sundar Pichai dropped three banana emojis online. Crazy, right? Okay, enough banana talk. Let's get to the exciting stuff. Gemini 2.5 flash image is available right now on Gemini API and Google AI Studio and you can generate an image for just 3.9 cents. So I logged into aistudio.google.com, clicked the try nano banana, uploaded my photo and typed the prompt. Take me to a beach in Bermuda, clear skies, beautiful blue water, a cruise ship in background and I'm holding bottle of beer, <laughs> I wish. Click run and boom, less than 10 seconds later, there it was, the beach, the ship, and me with my beer. The outfit didn't change because I didn't ask it to. That's the beauty of the model, character consistency. Just a tiny variation on the face, uh, which is easy to ignore, I guess. Now, now, let's spice it up. This time, I uploaded three images, my photo, a product shot of Ray-Ban Meta glasses, and a picture of red wine glass. No transparency, all JPEGs. Prompt, merge these into a winery during a wine festival. Second slip, boom, there I am rocking the meta glasses holding red wine and get this everyone else in the picture is holding the same wine glass i uploaded but the model gave me a huge smile and made me the tallest guy in the entire winery that gave me an idea there is a famous indian actor who is known for his height i won't name him uh, you'll you'll see it yourself i asked the model to place me beside him and there it is me sipping wine next to this celebrity Fun, right? Still taller as him, but hey, that's on me. I should have given more details in the prompt. The more detail you give these models, the better the output you'll get. Time for a wardrobe change. I asked for a colorful Hawaiian shirt with matching linen shorts and a poolside background. And wow, it nailed it. Outfit looks realistic, smiles even wider. But since I didn't ask it to remove the celebrity, guess what? He's still standing around by the pool. So, I told it, remove the celebrity and now it's just me, poolside with the widest grin possible. This was such a fun test. In my next video, I'll show you how to use the API instead of AI Studio. Don't miss it. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, hit like, drop a comment and subscribe for more AI experiments. Bye for now.